Hi, Bethlehem. I'm happy to read this devotion written by Lee Couth. Acts 20, verse 35 says, And remember the words of the Lord Jesus that he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. I have always liked these words that the Apostle Paul recorded of Jesus. If you don't believe that it is more blessed to give than to receive, next time you open a gift, look in the face of the giver, especially a child. Their face will tell you tell who really is enjoying the gift or the occasion. And adults are really no different. For me, it always has been more enjoyable to give than to receive, even a compliment. This giving includes giving to those who are in need. We find it a privilege to be able to give to the different missions who help the hungry and feed their souls as well. I find it to be a joy to give to my favorite radio pastor and teachers who spread their teachings of the gospel throughout the world. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 28 verses 15 and 16 and Mark chapter 16 verse 15 to take the gospel to all people. I can't do that on my own, but I am able to support those who do by my prayers and money to help get the job done. So giving is more joyful to me than receiving. There are many ways to give, whether it be time, encouragement, prayer support, food, money, gifts, discipling, and sharing God's word. It will bring more blessings than can be measured. It is also pleasing to our Lord who gave his all. As Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2 says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Giving is a way of life for God's people, as we remember how Christ Jesus gave himself for us. So I say again, it is more blessed to give than to receive. All praise and glory to God.